you could skip this whole video. I'm like jumping around, showing you this, showing you that, showing you the value of the miner, showing you what the Starcoin uh, blockchain is all about. You can just skip everything that I'm going to do and go to CoinGecko and look up STC Starcoin. Go read the white paper and read through that all for yourself. Check out Starcoin. That's the main thing. I just want people to hear about this. Don't do something because I'm doing it. Do it because you researched it and you really believe in it. Because that's why I'm on board. This here is about pretty much a green proof of work mining algorithm. This thing uses hardly any power. 18 cents worth of power, 527 a month. Think about that, 63 bucks a year. I'm gonna bounce around a little bit and tell you all kinds of stuff about Starcoin in this video and actually hook up a Starcoin box and show you all that stuff. The icicles are getting pretty big around here. So, back when Ethereum really started going towards this proof of stake garbage, I kind of gave up on it. I'm not looking for GPU mining no more. And I started clinging back to ASIC stuff here and I did some older ASICs and now I'm doing all kinds of newer ASICs. I went right to Kadena. I fell right into Kadena's arms. Awesome blockchain. And then after that, I fell right onto CKB a bit and Handshake. But then Starcoin came out. Kadena and Starcoin are my top two picks for what I'm mining. And I'm really enjoying it. And this video is just gonna be a little bit about that. There's not much info on Starcoin out there. And so I'm gonna put some of it out there and show what I'm doing and put my experience up. I like this project. Do your own research. Don't do what I do, ever. But do research on Starcoin and Kadena. Both of these, they have a lot in common with like how deep they are and how just widespread and how much info is there to look up. You go look up some of these other shibs and doges and there ain't much to them. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. We've had a lot of snow, so it's kind of cold out. It's been down to 11 degrees. Haven't turned on my heat still all winter. This video is about one of the most profitable but actually probably the most efficient miner that there is for an ASIC miner. I don't know of any other ASIC that comes even close to the efficiency for electric of this proof of work ASIC miner. It's a gold shell ST box or STC box. It's the Starcoin blockchain. And I've done a couple videos on Starcoin. Nobody's really talking about Starcoin. None of the big creators on here or anything. Once they make a miner, an ASIC miner, for a company, usually that company does pretty well when it's a specific one just for that algorithm. I like the blockchain. I have looked and looked and looked, and I'll go inside and show on the, I'm gonna show you the miner, I'm gonna plug it in real quick, show you how simple it is. In fact, I've got other videos on here doing that, I'm not, so I'm not gonna go that in depth. This little miner only uses 61 watts, 65 watts of power. Um, Right now, it's more profitable than the Mini Doge, it's more profitable than the CK box, it's more profitable than the Handshake box. In fact, it's almost as profitable as an HS3, I think it is. An HS3 SE, I don't know, something like that. This little miner only uses 18 cents worth of power, 527 a month. Think about that, 63 bucks a year. If you've got a um, L3 or something, and look at what it does. Here, we're gonna go down. The other gold shell miners. The LB1 is now unprofitable. Is that true? It is. The LB box is now unprofitable. And the LB1. And that's mostly because of the SCC flag in the coin. Handshake 1 Plus is not worth much. Here's your mini doge, about a dollar a day. CK box, $1.14. HS, $1.14. And as you go up, even the L3 now. A regular L3 is $2.27, but look at this, 800 watts. If you're on 800 watts, look at how much more power it uses. We're talking, it uses more in 20 days, 18 days, than that uh, Starcoin miner uses all year. So it is kind of a green proof of work mining, being such a low power thing here, only 61 watts. And they're basically silent. I'm gonna do it in this room, to where you can hear exactly how loud they are and see it power on and all that stuff. Very, very profitable box. Now on ASIC minor value, don't pay attention to what they're saying on anything. They are so far off on a lot of the valuations of stuff that you just never know what they're, if, what they're right on. But the Starcoin blockchain, you need to read it up on the research. This is financial advice. Read the white paper on stuff before you invest. That right there, 
that part is financial advice. Do it. Don't just do it because somebody else is doing it. But read up on this blockchain, and I think you're going to find that you kind of like the project. It's a great project. So whatever, I'm going to go in and show you the miner and get it kind of a quick setup type thing and show you what it's all about. So I got my Starcoin box here. Got a breakout board. My power adapter I'm using for another one. It's a regular old HP 750. It's actually in my store down below um, on Amazon. You can find them pretty cheap on there. So, regular old breakout board. We've got the HP 750. Just slide that on there. Wow, hadn't fully discharged yet. And then besides that, all you need is a um, six pin PCIe cable or what have you. Got the Starcoin miner. And this one is actually, this one is actually already set up, but I took the antenna off to put it into the box for effect. These Wi-Fi ones were really different to set up actually than the um, regular ones. And then uh, I'm gonna take this and plug one in somewhere. Plug it into my miner. And I'll leave it this way where you can see that. And then we'll plug this here power supply in. And there we go. And okay. So it's on. And it's going to power on. You can hear my laptop in the background. Okay, so when it powers up, it'll be the loudest. So that's as loud as it gets, right here. So now, it's starting to hash. And that's as loud as it'll get. And now it's gonna sit there and run like that. Now I have really good camera on this, uh, mic on this camera. It's a blog camera, a Sony, uh, one of the new ones. But um, that's it, man. It don't go that loud. You honestly don't notice it in the room. My laptop is louder than this. So I'm pretty sure that's about full, going full hashing, and that is louder. I mean, way louder. This thing hardly makes any noise, and it doesn't really put off that much heat either. It's only um, 61 watts, so there's not that much heat. So I'm gonna go take this and put it back in the other room, but I just wanted to show you what you're dealing with here, if you haven't seen them and such. And if you really want a detailed thing of hooking these up, check my channel, there's lots of other videos. But I will show a little bit online. I mean, you compare this project to like SHIB and like other Floki meme coin type things. This is not anything in that that field. This is an actual layer one and layer two blockchain that has so much stuff connected to it. It's, it's insane. Currently, this is what they're making, but I signed in on here to show you Starcoin is on Coin Market Caps now. Coin Market Cap, and they weren't. Um, just happened. But if you go and you look at something like Shib, or we'll look at Shib here. This is a one-page website. There's little things on it and stuff, but this is what you're in for, is just that. And I downloaded the white paper just to be able to have it and look at it. And it's not that deep of a project. When you look at Floki, what are you doing, bud? My baby's sitting here and doing this. So Floki, this is their one-page website kind of thing. And there's a couple little links you can go to, but very Dogecoin. I mean, it's probably the primo list, and still, it's just stuck on not much of a website. When you go and you look at Starcoin, it ain't got all the bright colors. It ain't got all that, but when you click on things, they download fast, and you've got papers and papers. Just so much information there. You can go around on this website. My kids run around like crazy. Got their own wallet. I mean, once you get into this stuff, like uh, the move book, I mean, this here 
it's insane how deep this project is. Um, whoever's putting this stuff together, it is quite a project. And the medium, when you look at the medium, where it go right there, they have updates, all kinds of updates, um, like weekly reports. It's just there's a year and a half worth of stuff on there. Um, so I do follow them on uh, Twitter and such. And dude, I'm telling you, you go to some of this stuff, it's just on and on and on. So much information. So, yeah, do some research on this one. I'm telling you, it is a pretty interesting versus these other kinds of coins. Starcoin's a real project, man. It's on the lines of Kadena. Um, hey, it's just an amazing project. Make sure and read the white paper and check it out.